People are shopping around now, huh? Yeah, we got Christmas right around the corner. Uh, I hope it's still going to be a good one. Uh, but you know what? Uh, you know what, guys? It's, it's what we're going to make of it. As it is every year. I mean, you can... Ah, yeah, I don't know. Um, it is what it is. I, I, I would give up anything on this, in this world if I could just... And I know you guys do too. If you could just be with your grandkids and your kids and just be with them and hug them and, and uh, 
we got a great granddaughter, and I would give anything in the world if I could just be with her and hold her. And but you know that's uh, these times uh, dictate otherwise, and it is it's it's sad. Um, and you got. Grandparents that don't get to, uh, uh, well, you know what I mean. Some people were checking out. They didn't even have anybody uh, by their side. They couldn't, you know. Uh, it is a devastating, a devastating, uncaring, ruthless bastard of a virus that's there that we're dealing with now on this planet. Yeah, so anyway, let's go to a little background music, back to my background old music. I like this stuff. I hope you guys like it. A little bit of the Lord on Hardy and stuff like that. Brightens up your day. I hope it does anyway. And some of this silly shit I, I, I do. Uh, yeah. Well, let's hit a few other buttons here and see what we got. There we go, a little Lowell and Hardy. We'll be signing off you guys in a little bit. Uh, I think they want to get some other stuff out here, huh? Huh? Uh-oh! Our Captain Boomer show will not be complete without the one and only, well there's two of them, but the show, the one and only show of Car 54, where are you? Yeah, there they are. That's my boys. That's my buddies in blue. Officers Tony Muldoon from Car 54, Where Are You fame. Yes, and those guys drop by just about every day to check on the old captain. Uh, yeah, and, and the, these guys, uh, you can, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, you can set your, set your clock by these guys. Pretty much the same time every day. They come by and, uh, yeah. They give me the old uh, siren. I love it. I love it. Uh, <laughs> you guys stay away from the Nora Chops, will ya? Come on. Well, I know Tootie, he can barely get out of that damn car. How the hell are you supposed to chase down bad guys when you weigh 290 pounds and you're only 5'4"? By the way, at 5'4", Tootie, how the hell did you even get out of force? I thought they had a height, a height requirement. At least 5'9", 5'10". Huh? Oh, you were wearing, oh, you were wearing those, uh, <laughs> what do they call them? <laughs> those things you put in your shoe that lifts or something like that, right? Huh? Yeah. All right. Whatever, whatever it takes. But either way, you turned out to be a fantastic uh, community service uh, uh, type guy. Yes, you did. You're still one of the top, uh, uh, I believe Tootie, I don't know about Muldoon. But Tootie uh, is in the Policeman's Hall of Fame. Yes, in the Policeman's Hall of Fame in no other, none other than Toledo, Ohio. Yeah, uh, yeah, check it out. Tootie's there, and we're proud of him. All right, later, guys. See ya. All right, there we go, guys. Okay, let's have a little fun here, shall we? Can you guys imagine Elmer Fudd and Porky Pig as telemarketers. Huh? I would love to see, I would love to hear that. Oh, God, I think it'd be great. Well, you crazy woman. You sure you don't want to buy my product? Yeah, I think it'd be fantastic. All right, you betcha. What do we got over here now? Yeah! A song that'll bring us all together, huh? Everybody need that nice song that'll bring us all together. Huh? And we took a vote on down the studio. The number one song that could bring us all together is 99 Bottles of Beer on the Wall. Huh? What do you guys think of that one? Huh? You betcha. You betcha. We're going to check in with a little bit of Benny Hill. Here he comes. Come on, Benny.
That's for all you babies out there. Oh, we can't play sports. We can't do this. Shut the hell up. Yeah, try to play football, soccer, basketball, uh, hockey, whatever, uh, when you're laying in the bed with, uh, with oxygen on you. Huh? Think about that yet. Big babies. You know, some of us didn't have a, you know, well, high school, whatever, guess what we had to look forward to? Huh? Getting drafted, going to Vietnam. Don't, so don't give me this. So don't give me a wham, wham, wham. Yeah. Someone's got to speak up for us because, you know, these kids and other people, they have no idea. You know, they, uh, and I, I don't give a shit if you think I'm nasty, I'm mean, I'm, uh, you know, uncaring. But that's the reality of it. Yeah, anyway, what's this other guy up to? What is he doing up here? Who's this? Let me check in with this guy. What the hell is he up to? Where is he? No, that's not him. Where the hell did he go? What's that? Okay, here we go. My baloney has a first name. It's O-S-C-A-R My baloney has a second name It's M-A-Y-E-R Oh, I love to eat it every day If you ask me why, I'll say Cause Oscar Mayer has a way with B-O-L-O-G-N-A Thank you, that was Three Chord Kenny Yes, yes, and he is, uh and he's going to be introduced, uh, I guess he's going to the uh, Novelty Songwriters Hall of Fame uh, next year. Yeah, so check Three Chord Kenny out. He comes by the studio uh, from time to time. Yeah, and he's a stitch, that guy, I tell you. Anyway. <laughs>